Okay, so we're going to go look at Tornado, and what we're going to do is go through this in sections. So we're going to look at what I call the intro. This is the four measures before A. So you have the first measure, then the first inning, and then you go back to the first measure, and then you go to the second inning. So what our goal in this, uh, in this lesson right now is to have you play the first four measures, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take it and make it better. Mm -hmm. Okay? So go ahead and play it to the best of your ability and then we'll tear it apart. Do, do the second ending. All right, good. So rhythmically, you did this really well. And that's the hardest part, I think, for most people. Um, the accents could be louder mm -hmm. so that we have more contrast. And then the other thing is I just think the overall volume could be louder. And, and we're, we are playing on electronic drum sets, but you can still play louder, mm -hmm. like actually physically play louder because you have fortissimo or, or double forte here. So this needs to be pretty loud. Um, the whole thing should probably sound like this. Wise. Mm -hmm. Now the speed, of course, is going to be a lot faster. Uh, Speed-wise, we're going to be closer to here. But we're not there yet. So what we're going to do is uh, tear all this stuff apart in different sections and just try to get it rhythmically accurate, the volumes where we want it to get. And then after that, it's really just a matter of drilling it to get the tempo where you want to have it ultimately. So uh, let's play this together, me and you. We'll go about this fast. Okay, so let's try doing that together. One, two, ready, go. Let's do the last measure of it, second ending. One, two, ready. All right, that's good. All right, let's do all that again, four measures. One, two, ready. Just a little quicker. One, two, ready, go. Okay, so, um, all right, you're, you're playing everything a lot better. The big thing that I would also suggest now is, since we're making the whole thing louder, that means the unaccented notes will be louder, and you're doing a good job with that. And I'd want to say they're terribly uneven in terms of the volume between your right hand and your left hand, but just watch out for that, because sometimes it looks like your right hand is a little louder than your left hand, which is pretty normal, but we want to fix that. And you can fix that by bringing the right hand lower, Mm -hmm. or you can bring the left hand higher to get it to be a little bit more even. 
in this case, I would say as long as your accents and your unaccented notes are sounding very different, then I would say go ahead and bring the left hand higher if you can. And it's okay to use a little bit more arm on something like this because you got to get more volume out of it. Okay. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next section.